Pat Deer, PL Deer Studios, and I'm here with Tammy with A Touch of Home and Katherine Schmidt, a uh, collaborating artist, and I'm going to share a little bit today about what we've been doing here at the facility um, of Tammy's A Touch of Home. So a little bit about myself, I'm a stained glass artist and I have been doing art collaborations and right now I'm doing a collaboration with the Alzheimer's and Dementia Society or Association where we're working with people um, who have been affected by that and collaborating them with an artist to create a piece of art that will be shown in um, shows around the area, uh, which have yet to be set. Um, so first of all, I just want to introduce you to Tammy um, from A Touch of Home. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what you guys do at this facility. Okay. Well, thank you, Pat, for, for coming to Touch of Home and Catherine for coming here, too. Um, Touch of Home is, is newly opened. Um, it's an adult daycare center here in Adrian. We've been open for about a year. Um, it's not new to me, but um, I've worked in the adult daycare industry for over 20 years. Uh, most of our, our participants that attend a daycare center have some type of disability. Um, and, you know, it might, it might be memory loss, it might be stroke related, might be Parkinson's, any of those disabilities, you know, would allow for that participant to come here. Um, from from my experience, what I've seen so often in the past is is when we when we learn of these people having a disability, sometimes we park them in the corner and we forget what what their abilities are. Um, this project that that Pat and Catherine and CJ brought to us, you know, just really showed what our folks are capable of doing. Thank you. Um, I'm so glad you brought that up. I read a book by John Zeisel, and it was called "I'm Still Here." And it gave me the inspiration to do this collaboration to show some of the fabulous things. So she mentioned CJ Bauschka. This was one of the um, dragonflies that, do you call your people that come residents? They're participants. Participants, to us. okay. Mm -hmm. So participants made in the class. And then Catherine took inspiration from them to create her own work of art. So I'm going to actually introduce you to her next and tell us uh, who you are as an artist and why you participated. Mm -hmm. And then we have to see your beautiful work because it's fabulous. <laughs> I'm Kathy Schmidt from Tecumseh, and I have been working with textiles, fabrics, beads, printing, painting, all manner of embellishments in my artwork for well over 50 years. And this opportunity to participate in uh, a collaboration for Alzheimer's really struck home with me. My father had Alzheimer's. And um, very, very often, as Tammy said, we forget that as people suffer from any of the disabilities, they don't lose all capability. And we have to meet them where they are at the moment. For this particular project, um, the participants just blew me away because they absolutely jumped into the project not knowing what they were doing, and all created beautiful artwork. I asked them to select a bead. Everyone here selected a bead, and I used that as my inspiration for the artwork that I created. And she was nice enough to make another piece for them to keep here at the facility. So not only did she come in and help with the class, created a piece of art for this art collaboration, but she also made a piece that they get to keep um, for themselves, which was fantastic. This is um, kind of like what I do, um, but it's not, it's not the first piece that I have made um, for an Alzheimer's related cause. Um, I have a piece here that is made, it's called the Brain Dances, because of the progression of when we start out in life and as our capacities diminish. Okay. Um, not everyone has the same symptoms or disabilities, but one of the main things that we see with Alzheimer's is that you can't remember people. And this was my father's particular case, but and that says, did I know you? Yeah, it says, did I, do I, do I know you? Do I know did you? I know you? Um, but one of the things that is always remarkable is what 
people with dementia don't forget. Right. There's always something you might still paint, you might still knit well beyond the time when you can talk. My father never forgot the music. I was going to say singing. Yeah, yeah. He, he always remembered the music. Um, I don't typically do that type of work. This is much more typical of what I do. Um, but I am just thrilled to be able to participate in this activity. I was totally inspired by the participants here just because of their um, enthusiasm and courage to just jump into an unknown project without hesitation. And they were very successful. So it was a real pleasure and inspiration for me to use this as the basis for the piece of art. You know, I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up too. Um, I was thinking about something else. When we as artists or business people or whatever in our everyday life, I know I can think and overthink and overthink something. Mm -hmm. And I was really excited to see what a different type of community of people would do without having that overthinking process. You know, and this is the, the first of the collaborations I've done in a facility like this. The second one was we did some finger painting and he's, this is with uh, Lorenzo Cristado and he's gonna take those finger paintings and tear it up and make it into a collage and create a piece of art with that too. So um, the collaboration is actually requires business owners as sponsors that will allow us to come in and do these classes for free. Um, it also allows um, some of the money to go towards artist award money for the artists who are participating there to volunteering their time too. But the facilities are so important because you know this was just really the driving force. I mean this art show is fun and you know doing it all is fun but being able to come in and actually share it with a community of people that is so receptive um, and needs that kind of um, inspiration I would guess right Tammy? That's true um, it's such a pleasure that that we were able to be with with you guys for this art project um, it was very intriguing for the for the participants to be able to pick out their very own beads I mean each one of them had a special interest in in those beads um, you know they they laid them out developed their dragonflies it was it was truly joy joyful to be able to watch it yeah and they they really had no idea what they were creating mm -hmm. but they were so willing mm -hmm. to follow along and um, each bead and each color was very special to them mm -hmm. I didn't realize that you had made others for the same um, in the same effort. So tell me how you got involved in that. This, uh, these are just personal pieces just to personal me. pieces, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, just because of uh, my father having Alzheimer's. Right. And um, kind of memory pieces, but kind of thinking of how um, Alzheimer's in particular affects people. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's so devastating mm -hmm. to lose your brain power. Mm -hmm. And um, and what kinds of things did he like to continue to do? Oh, he was a woodworker and he did that um, absolutely as long as possible. He um, was also a guy who, all, who enjoyed a good party. Mm, okay. So, you know, if we got together and had some laughs, it didn't matter if he remembered who you were. Mm -hmm. right. um, that was just part of his personality. Right. Mm -hmm. So that was important to him too. Mm -hmm. But the, the singing, he was a... Um, from kind of a musical family of which I did not get one note. Right. But um, whenever the music was played, he could sing along or hum along. Mm -hmm. And and that was well into the time when he could no longer even feed himself. Right. So, uh, I mean, that really continued up until he was gone. Right. Well, I have to thank you guys. I'm trying to keep these to 10 minutes just to make mm -hmm. sure um, you're still intrigued by the end, but I want to get a little bit more of an idea of what this collaboration actually is. It's uh, 10 teams of, of people, and the people include a, may, may include a facility like this, an artist like Kathy, um, a business sponsorship like Dear Electric, um, an adult care facility, so you happen to be both. You mm -hmm. offer the inspiration and are the adult facility. Um, we'll be doing different shows. I'll be at Appalumkin and I'll be at um, Artalicious just at the farmer's market this weekend and um, 
Clinton Fall Festival, where you can come and you can get information about their facility. You can see some of the art that the people have created, any of the artwork that people are making, the a percentage of the donations goes to the Alzheimer's Association. So it's really important. You know, I still have room for a few artists, definitely room to um, take these classes into other adult care facilities and still have um, plenty of room for business sponsors. So if that's something that you're interested in, let us know. Um, anything else you guys want to share before we're all set here? So it was just um, delightful. It was. It was, very, it was a wonderful experience. It was. I can't wait to share these in person. So Kathy, thank you. Tammy, thank you. Thank you. And um, that's it. We're, we're, we're all set for today. So thank you so much for joining us.